come to this first episode of Guitar of the Week, a new series that I will be doing probably throughout this next year. And I will go through my collection of guitars. And the idea behind this whole thing came because so many people, and I'm sure I speak for a lot of guitar players out there, um, we get asked how many guitars do we own? What kind of guitars do we own? And are there any special stories behind any of them? And I thought it's a really cool idea actually to get a little more in depth. I own about 30 guitars at the moment. Of course, there's always more adding up to the collection. And with this series, I will not go through all of those guitars, but I will pick my favorites and all those guitars that do have a story behind them. And I thought this week for the first episode I will start with one of my most beautiful looking guitars and it's this Gold Flat Ibanez Archie Prestige. It's a model that got released I think about four years ago. I saw a picture of it online and I did a screenshot on my cell phone and sent it to my A&R here in Germany and told him that I need one of those guitars if he could please get me one and he said that unfortunately they sold right away they didn't do a lot of these they didn't build a lot I think it's only like a hundred or a few hundred if even so and that Ibanez Germany didn't get hands on one of them then two weeks later luckily I got a call from him saying that he made made it possible to get a hold on one of those guitars and if I'm really interested in buying it, um, he can make sure to get one over to Ibanez, Germany. I said, of course, because I really think like the finish on this guitar is just extremely beautiful. Um, it's a little sensitive to scratches, um, which kind of like, I think it's a guitar that you don't want to have scratches on, but I mean, that comes with guitars being on tour. Um, but yeah, it looks beautiful. And if you know me and know what my style is, I love and prefer to wear Kind of like darker stuff, black stuff, and I thought a golden guitar on stage, that would be a perfect match for me. So I got this guitar, I didn't know what it's gonna sound like, what it's gonna feel like, I chose it only by its beautiful look. Luckily, it does sound really cool, it does sound beautiful, and I am using it on all my um, instrumental songs, those that have like a lot of shred solos, or beautiful melodies. It has a really thin, typical RG neck, so it's really perfect for that kind of playing. And it was used recording my album on songs like Sparkles, Moments, The Maze, and all that kind of stuff. The first time I used this guitar live was in 2021 when I got to perform the Austrian National Anthem at Formula One in Spielberg, Austria. That was a really, really special experience. Um, I was standing on the start finish line of the race. Two minutes before the race started, the drivers were right in front of me and the whole thing got broadcasted worldwide. Millions of people um, got to watch it. Check it out. So that was really special and I said that was the first time I had this guitar live with me and other than that I've been using it recording my album as I said like it's on all the melody kind of guitar stuff. And I also made sure to use it on the photo shoot for my fourth album Between the Lines because I knew that this guitar was going to be my main one that was going to be my main look for this tour for this album. So of course I did the photo shoot with this guitar. And then when it was time to have the album released and start touring, 
Um, this is my main guitar for this tour and on stage with my trio. I'm gonna play a little bit of one of my songs of this actual album, Sparkles. Enjoy! <laughs> about this guitar I'll put some more detailed information in the info text below um, so you can check that out. Throughout this whole episode I will be using a Kemper profiler for my guitar sounds and depending on what I'm gonna play it might be a Carvin Legacy profile as when I'm playing live or as you can see in the back I still mainly play a Carvin Legacy amp or I will go for some Michael Pritt, Marshall, Fender, Vox sounds. But if there's something special coming up, I will let you know in, in the videos. I hope to see you next time for another episode of Guitar of the Week with another guitar of my collection and hopefully a really cool story along with it. Feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm.